What up, guys? EA announced the shutdown of the Battlefield 3 console version in November 2024. For those that want to continue their Battlefield 3 journey on PC or want to come back to PC after a long time can watch this video step by step to get some inspiration. Disclaimer, it is going to be a longer video. There will be timestamp for the video chapters in the description. Don't forget, you can always increase the video playback speed in the YouTube video player. Actually, I had a way longer video, so I'm now trying to make a shorter version. If you are interested in a longer version, let me know, like with going through the all installation processes and so on. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, first of all, you have to purchase the game. Um, you can do that on the official EA website. Currently there's a sale going on for Battlefield Free. The premium edition for six euros, for dollars it's six dollar, Canadian dollar eight dollar. So basically, as you can see, whatever currency you have, 85% off. On Steam, it's the same. It's also on sale on Steam for 85% off. So until August 19. Then the other way you can get access is through EA Play. If you have the EA Play subscription, you can buy it on EA website. You can do it on Steam as well. The third option is if you have a PC Game Pass from Xbox, it also has that EA Play membership. What you have to know though is either way if you use the Steam version, like buy the Steam version, have EA Play on Steam or have the Xbox PC Game Pass, you have to connect your accounts. There's a link from EA showing that for Steam and also for all other platforms. Basically, this is like the screenshot of EA app when you started. And as you can see, you can click on an Xbox button or Steam to connect your accounts. So yeah, when you bought the game, oh, I forgot, actually you can also buy, if, if it's not on sale on EA store or e, uh, Steam, you can still get a good price on, for example, kingwing.net, a key seller website. If you scroll down, there's even a cheaper price. Uh, or on iniba.com, also possible. And this website, gg.deals, provides you basically a good overview of what kind of offers are available and what kind of discount codes you can use to even further, further drop the price. Also, as you can see, for Kingween and many others. Yeah, after you bought the game, you have to download the EA app. You can do it from the official homepage. Or you buy download Steam if you um, have the Steam version. Don't forget to link your Steam account. And yeah, after you did, did that, you download the game, install the game. After that, make sure to also download Punkbuster from the evenbalance.com website by clicking on this For All Windows Games button. The file that you download is a zip file. You have to extract that zip file and then run the installer. As you can see, you choose uh, your game. You press on Add the Game, choose Battlefield 3, and press on Update Punkbuster. You have to do that because EA didn't update their installer since a bunch of years. So the Punkbuster version that you are running when you don't do this step is outdated which results into getting auto kicked from servers that have punkbuster enabled another thing to mention as a post install step make sure to have the overlay the in-game app overlay in the ea app completely disabled generally speaking i just recommend you to basically disable everything that you can in the ea app in terms of steam you can, I mean, watch a video about Steam settings. There are some videos if you want to fine-tune your Steam settings. Um, actually, if I pull over the text file, I had some notes about Steam. In the Steam settings, click on interface, turn the free settings that have requires restart written off. In Steam settings, click on library and turn low bandwidth, low performance mode and disable community content on. Yeah, and to understand some Steam settings better, you can also watch this video. This text file will be also in the description link from Google Drive. So yeah, we talked about Punkbuster. 
in terms of overlay, EA app overlay turned off. For some people, they also have to turn off the Discord overlay. Why do you have to turn off those overlays? Because otherwise you might not be able to move your mouse in the game. Generally speaking, I can recommend going to the PCGamingWiki.com website and in the top right corner you search for Battlefield 3 and then if you scroll down there's this issues fixed section where you can see common issues that occurred with Battlefield 3 and how to fix them. The most common one is with that you can't move your mouse in game. Another one that is kind of common is could not activate error from origin. So you basically have to clear the license files uh, as shown right here. And then when you reboot the game, it will automatically recreate those files for you. And then it should be fixed. Battle lock for those people that are not familiar with it. So basically, if you want to play the multiplayer or co-op or campaign, you have to be locked in in Battle Lock. Usually, the moment you click the play button in the EA app or in Steam, it will automatically open your web browser while including being locked in. In terms of what I want to show you after you are locked in, if you click on multiplayer server browser, uh, as you can see, you can choose the different modes and the different maps. But I personally would recommend you keep it on default settings um to just be able to see all the servers and um if you if you are more experienced with battle lock you can do all those things of course with the filter settings but some people sometimes don't see server and then they are confused uh, one thing to mention as well is if you click on a server on the bottom right you can see this show all players button if you click on it it's saying 34 players are on the server right now but actually there's no one on the server the unknowns are not real players it's like fill up players to um yeah to get people playing there and to give you a different example this one here 46 but as you can see the blue names the, those are real players so that's where you know okay the server actually has real players and the rest of them are unknown so let's say 50 percent on this server right now are unknown so just as a heads up always when you choose a server click on it click on show all players and then see the real player account and then okay click on join server there's also a better battle lock plugin for chromium based browsers and firefox but i'm not going to showcase this right now um, but that's an optional thing that you could also consider adding in terms of tweaking battlefield 3 nvidia did a tweak guide in 2011 as you can see all different kind of topics including if you go under advanced tweaking, talking about command uh, commands that you can use in the game and how to add that user.cfg and stuff like that. For those people that use the Steam version, I can also recommend checking out that Steam guide on the Battlefield 3 page here with part 1, part 2, part 3. It goes all over the different steps um, if you need it. Another optional thing is if you want to configure your Battlefield 3 settings outside of the game, you can use the community-made BF3 settings editor. What you have to know though is you have to run the game at least one time, otherwise this Battlefield 3 settings editor is basically not able to pick up your settings files because the Battlefield 3 folder in the documents folder is not available. If you don't want to run the game in exclusive full screen, you can also use the BF3 borderless um, community software that basically when you go in the video settings in game and select full screen off, and then it will be in the windowed mode. But if you want to still have like a full screen, like borderless full screen, basically, you can use this and it works flawlessly. I tried it all myself, even though I don't, I'm not using it, but it works. Um, so yeah, that's one option that you can also keep in mind. What else do I have here open? Um, here, right here, I installed Battlefield 3. This is the Steam version. If you run in higher monitor resolutions like 1440p or 4K, usually you have this DPI scaling in Windows. Instead of the default value 100%, you might have it on 125, 150 or even higher. And if you don't want to 
have it interfere with your mouse input, I would recommend you right clicking the BF3 Axie, clicking on properties, going under the compatibility tab and disable full screen optimizations. And in terms of the change DPI setting that I'm just talking about, if you if you check that box and set the application, it will have that 100% thing happening. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want more information about how to optimize your windows, this one could be a way for you to learn more about how to optimize windows and also BIOS. As you can see, there's a lot of timestamps, different parts, either way, if it's the BIOS, windows, different settings or ex Nvidia settings, AMD settings that he's recommending and stuff like that. Worth taking a look if you want to. You don't have to, obviously. But, um, yeah. Should I also show some screenshots? Oh, I forgot. I have that Battlefield Free Guide from 2021. And that th Google Drive linked, as you can see here. Um, also worth watching. That It's a four-minute video. Partially outdated because I don't run that those settings the same way anymore, <laughs> but uh, still worth a look. In terms of benefit free settings, though, what I want to definitely point out is when you first set it up, make sure that you have um, raw mouse input on. Also in Windows, if you ever heard about enhance mouse pointer precision, turn that off. And there are, there's also right above that, it's like a setting where you can adjust. Oh, let me let me go there. In Windows Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Mouse, and then right here. Turn this off and have this in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's very important. Another thing in the gameplay tab in Battlefield 3, make sure that you have the network smoothing factor all to the left. If you keep the default value, which is either way 50 or 100%, you will see the enemy later. But the, like the, the positive thing about the network smoothing factor is that the animations of tanks and, and infantry and so on running around look smoother on your screen, but the downside is you just see them later. So it's up to you. I personally run it all to the left. In terms of minimap type, it's also personal preference, like as well as weapon zoom. Most people run hold, uh, it's personal preference. Minimap opacity, if you want to see the minimap easier, crank that up. Like I have it right now, on, actually on 75%, I think. Um, if you want to have it f completely visible, set it all to the right. In terms of audio, personal preference, I run war tapes. It can be pretty loud, but you can hear literally every single thing. Also, if you select that enhanced stereo mode, just check what is um, written down there just to make sure that you, like, for example, if you run a surround sound system and so on, obviously you shouldn't have that stereo mode. In terms of video settings, motion blur, turn it off, all to the left. You can also turn it off on the right. Field of view in game is up to 90. If you want to further increase it, you can, for example, use that Battlefield Free Settings Editor. But yeah, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to point out. Oh yeah, you can also adjust the screen adjustment here. If you click on Open Screen Adjust to, yeah, how the user interface elements like the minimap and so on, are, are, how, how close they are in the screen, you can actually further adjust it in the Battlefield Free Settings Editor if you want to. But yeah, hope you find something useful out of it. And um, yeah. What, did, what are my final words? Uh, this text file and other files will be uploaded to my Google Drive. The link of the Google Drive will be in the description of the YouTube video. That's it. Hope you were able to get the information needed to start your journey with Battlefield 3 on PC. Please consider clicking that YouTube like button and post a comment down below if the video helped you in any way. You can also share one of your favorite Battlefield moments or your tips and tricks with the Battlefield community if you want to. 
Also, if you have further questions or you want to have that longer, very long, actually, when I recorded it a couple of weeks ago, it was over three hours video, then let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Anyways, enough said. See you on the battlefield.